If you are a developer, you probably heard of Web3. There is a massive gold rush to Web3 with a ton of capital and talent flocking to the ecosystem. No matter if you are pro or against crypto, it's probably a good idea to do some research on this new Web3 thing. In this video, I will explain what is Web3, what we can do with it, and how you can start building on it. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Ido Blocks, I teach blockchain development. With Web 1, we could read data using static websites. With Web 2, we could read and write data using web applications, which have a centralized backend. With Web 3, we can read and write data in decentralized apps, which have a decentralized backend on blockchains like Ethereum. Compared to Web 2, with Web 3, we have the following benefits. Users are able to return much more value as there is no intermediary. It's open to everybody. It's censorship resistant. It's permissionless, which means anybody can execute a smart contract. No need to ask for API access. It's composable, which means we can build smart contracts on top of each other. It's safer as there is no centralized point of failure. The first use case of Web3 was to build cryptocurrencies, but Web3 is capable of so much more. With DeFi protocols, we can reinvent finance in a decentralized way open to anyone and without regulation or banks standing in the way. With NFTs, we can create unique digital assets which have many use cases like in-game assets or digital arts. With DAOs, we can create a decentralized organization that are able to vote and spend their treasury without all the red tape and limitations of traditional companies. To build Web3 apps, you need to already know Web3 development, including HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. After, you can focus your efforts on the Ethereum blockchain, which has the largest ecosystem and the best development tools. You first have to learn the architecture of a decentralized application with a web frontend connected to a smart contract, these small programs that run on the blockchain. You have to learn the Solidity language for writing smart contracts. You also have to learn either Truffle or Hat Hat, two popular frameworks for smart contracts. To interact with Ethereum, you have to learn Web3.js or Ether's two popular JavaScript libraries. And you also have to learn how to integrate your DApp frontend with MetaMask, the most used Ethereum wallet. So that was a very short intro to Web3 development. If you want a longer intro to Web3 development, you can check out this other video where I give a full roadmap to become a blockchain developer in 2021. I will see you there.